Valcom VIP-102B tool is a software program used to configure Valcom IP devices so that they function together as a complete system. The tool is available as a free download at Valcom.com. We'll follow four simple steps to learn how to use the VIP-102B tool to set up your IP paging system. First, we'll physically connect all of the devices that we wish to program. Then we'll use the tool to reach out through the network to discover these connected devices. In the programming step, we'll assign unique IP addresses, names, and properties. Then we'll finalize everything by sending all of this programming out to each device. Let's get started. Connect all of the Valcom IP devices that you will be using, including speakers and IP gateways. Keep in mind that each Valcom IP device must be home run to a network switch. Also, be mindful that the maximum distance that Ethernet can function over a copper category cable is 300 feet, so each device must be kept within that distance from a network switch. For specifications regarding network requirements, or for help in selecting the proper IP devices for your application, please go to valcom.com or contact Valcom's technical support department. Now that we've plugged in all of our devices, it's time to discover what we've connected by scanning the network using the VIP-102B tool. Here's how. Launch the tool from the icon on your desktop that was placed there automatically when you downloaded the software. When the VIP-102B tool first opens, this window will appear automatically. This is where the basic parameters are set for scanning and discovering Valcom IP devices on your network. The default setting is scan using the current network settings, which is what we will use for this example. Click OK to start the scan. Once the scan is completed, the new devices detected window will appear. The Valcom IP devices that have been discovered will be listed in this box. Let's take a look at three things in particular in this window. The IP address, the MAC address, and the name of each discovered device. First, notice that the IP addresses of these two devices we discovered are the same. That's because all new Valcom devices are set to this address by default at the factory. You'll need to give each device a unique IP address so that they are on the same subnet as your network. We'll get to that when we program the devices in step number three. Next, every Valcom IP device has a unique MAC address. This is static and cannot be changed. Finally, let's take a look at the name field. You will most likely want to change the default names of the devices to something more relevant to your particular paging system's layout. From the factory, Valcom speakers have a default name that is the same as their MAC address. Valcom IP gateways use a single digit number as their default name. Remember, you can change the name field, but you can't change the MAC address. We'll change these names in the programming step as well. Although the devices that we discovered during our scan are visible in this window, we must add them to a current system in order to modify their parameters. Be sure that the add box next to each device is checked, then press continue. At this point, the VIP-102B tool will alert you with a pop-up window to any conflicts that exist. By clicking view, we can see that the IP addresses on both devices are set to the factory default, like we mentioned before, and need to be changed. Then click OK. Click Close. The devices will appear in this area, known as the device tree. Now that they've been discovered and they've been added to our current system, we can move on to step three, programming. In this step, we'll program IP addresses, device names, dial codes, and audio groups. Before we go any further into programming, we should take note of the icon that's next to each of the devices in the tree. These icons change color when the status of the device changes. A legend explaining the colors can be found here. Let's take a closer look. Status unknown means that the discovery scan could see the device, but the device did not return any information. Status normal means that the device is programmed and functioning properly. Verification required means that the VIP-102B tool could not retrieve complete information from the device. 
Possible causes of an error status include IP address conflicts, dial code conflicts, or other communication errors. When the device shows the blue icon for update required, it means the programming changes that you've made in the software have not been sent to the device yet. Reset required means that the device needs to be rebooted, which is accomplished through the VIP 102B tool, not the device itself. When information is required from the device, the yellow icon for rescan required will appear. When the VIP 102B tool has no known password for a device, this icon will appear. And finally, the firmware suggested icon appears only for server-based devices. So let's take a look at our icons. As you can see, they're both red, indicating an error. By clicking on the device name in the tree, we can learn more about this error status. Here we can see that it is caused by conflicting IP addresses. This is because both of our devices still have the factory default IP addresses. Let's move on to the programming step where we can change that IP address. Click on Programming from the menu bar, then select Assign IP Addresses. In the window that appears, put a check in the box next to the device that you want to change. From the Addresses menu, select either First Available if you want the VIP 102B tool to select an address for you, or choose an address from the list. When prompted, click on Yes. A status window will appear, followed by another that will let you know that the device is resetting, and finally confirming the change has occurred. When this window appears, click Continue. Repeat these steps to change the IP addresses of each of your remaining devices. You'll notice that the color of the icons has changed to yellow, indicating a rescan is required. This will only happen to the devices that you've made programming changes to. To start the rescan, select Scan All Devices from the Communications menu. Several progress windows will appear during this process. When the rescan finishes, you'll notice in the device summary that the IP address has been updated. Now we can move on to updating the names of our devices. This can also be accomplished from the programming menu. This time, we'll select Assign Device Names from the dropdown. In the window that appears, we'll once again put a check next to the device that we want to change. In the prefix box, type a descriptive name, then a starting number here, then click Assign. The updated name will show here. Repeat this step for all of the devices that you are adding to your system. These two fields allow you to easily identify multiple devices, like speakers, that may be located in the same general area, like in a hallway. Now let's assign some dial codes and audio groups to our devices. A dial code refers to a number that is used to reach an individual device. Each device within our system must have its own unique dial code. Audio groups are used when you want to reach multiple devices by dialing one code. To assign a dial code to a device, click Assign Dial Codes from the Programming dropdown. In the window that appears, you'll notice that any Valcom IP device that is new from the factory will have 801 as the default dial code. We'll change this by selecting the device that we want, typing the new dial code here, then clicking Assign. The VIP 102B tool will alert you that the dial code for your device has been changed. Now let's set up an audio group. Select Audio Groups from the System menu. Enter the number that you'd like to use to reach this group in the dial code box and a name for the group, then click Add. We've created an audio group, but there's no devices assigned to it yet. Let's look at how to do that. First, from the device tree, highlight the device that you want to add to your audio group. Then click on the Group Membership tab, 
Then click on the group that you want this device to be included in. Then click Apply. Repeat these steps for each device that you want to add to this audio group. Once finalized, this group can be reached by dialing the group code that you establish. Also, there is no limit to the number of devices that can be added to an audio group. You'll notice by the blue icon next to our devices in the device tree that an update is required. This step will finalize all of the programming that we've done to this point. To do this, click Update All Devices from the Communications menu. Then click Yes when the Update All Devices pop-up window appears. You'll notice several pop-up boxes while the devices are resetting. When this process finishes, the icon color will change, indicating each device is operating normally. Now, all of the programming changes that were made within the VIP102B tool have been sent to and are stored in the non-volatile memory of each device. Congratulations! Your IP paging system is now ready to use. To learn more about Valcom's paging and mass notification solutions, please visit us at valcom.com.